hello guys my name is sage mike and welcome to my youtube channel okay so looking at my screen right here you will see that i have this unlock tool right here that i want to share with you and i'll be using this unlock tool for two weeks now and it's working just perfect so i will show you how you can use this tool because it has a lot of options that if you use the option perfectly you can be able to unlock any frop and pin you understand and any type of password in a mobile phone so i will show you how you can use the tool right now then i will then show you how you can install the tool in your pc you understand the installation process is very long but i'm going to show you that okay so when you just open this tool you will have this screen right here and this screen right here is not the most important screen because you can see that most of the options are adb and fastboot in meanwhile you cannot easily see a phone with adb debugging mode enabled already you understand and fast boot fast boot mode mostly works in just a, a few phones you understand okay so for you to use this tool when you open the tool then you will see these other options right here if i check right here you will see that we have the few models right here and if you want to bypass you just connect your phone then it will detect the port right here you understand then you will be good to go and this tool you can bypass samsung kg lock you understand which is just one click as you can see right here then we have oppo mdn lock you understand you can do unlock using this tool okay so the big part in this tool is this part right here mtk frp plus plus pin unlock you understand okay so you might just think that it's just about mtk devices but i tell you what there is something right here in which you don't understand samsung phones there are samsung phones that use mtk cpus because when i talk about mtk tools that bypass mtk you might think that it's just about uh, this infinite techno uh, oppo there are samsung a lot of samsung models and Huawei mo models that use mtk cpus okay so when you come to this option right here you will see that okay if you want to bypass this frp in a samsung phone in a samsung phone that uses an mtk cpu you just click on samsung frp right here then you come to samsung right here you understand so you see that there are a lot of models right here that use mtk which are samsung devices you understand so you see a lot of models right here that that are samsung devices that use uses an mtk cpu and once you select the model right there you just come right here and click on start then press and hold the volume up or the volume down of your phone then just connect your usb then it will detect you understand okay so if it's not a samsung pcb then you can come right here to frp you understand so this this uh, option right here is generally generally for any other mtk device that you see right here so if i come right here to oppo you will see that we have a lot of models right here see that we have a, a, a lot of models we have realme devices right here you have reno devices right here and if i come to vivo and if i come to vivo right here you will see that we have a lot of models right here if i check huawei right here if you want to bypass if you want to bypass frp on any device then you just select the device right here then you click on frp in case if you just want to bypass frp only when it's stuck and asking for the gmail account you just switch off your phone then check your model right here once you select the model then you just select frp right here and click start you understand okay so if the phone has a password let me just say infinix or any model that you see right here let me say infinix Note 11 or any model like i said so let me just say oppo so that i'm naming all the models so that you will know that okay you can generally unlock these models that i'm naming right here you just select there then if you want to bypass if you want to unlock and bypass frp then you just come here format pin plus frp so this format pin right here will format any type of password inside the phone then do frp bypass at the same time and for you to get your phone 
detected in this tool and the, and get the process done you just have to come right here select the model that you want then you click on start right here press and hold the volume up of your phone or the volume down then you hit on start right here you understand so once you you hit start right there you can see that the process will start right here and will be waiting for the phone to detect once you detect the phone then everything will be done you understand what i'm saying right and uh, there is one thing important thing in which i want you to understand right here because you haven't seen the model of the phone that you want to unlock right here doesn't mean that this tool cannot unlock the model so i've been you know, noticing that most of you guys don't really understand this and when you just check the model you don't see the model in the tool then you will be like okay this tool cannot unlock the phone that i want to unlock right here that's not how it is so the phone might not have this the model that the tool might not have the model that you are looking for in this tool you understand the tool might not have the model that you are looking for but it will have different models with the same cpu type that is in the phone that you are that you are wanting to unlock you understand so the cpu type really matters right here because you can see that a, a, a different model of oppo phone uses the same cpu of the model of any models that you see right here if you are trying to unlock any oppo phone then you check the cpu type if the CPU type matches any of this model right here, even though you don't see the model in this tool, you just select the model that uses the same CPU the phone that, with the phone that you want to unlock. You just click on the model, then you will be able to do all this FROP right here in this tool. So you can see that the tool is really great. You understand? And one more thing, if you are trying for the tool to detect the phone and it's not detecting, make sure that you have a, a, a MTK device on your on your pc install make sure that you have installed mtp mtk device on your pc you understand so each mode right here will need the drivers of that mode for the tool to be able to detect the phone and if you just search on google mtk device mtp device adb or qualcomm drivers they will show you and you'll be able to download and the best option that i have in this tool right here is the qualcomm samsung frp it's not that easy to see a qualcomm frp by pastor that is totally for free like this tool right here okay so if i come to qualcomm right here then you can see that even though there are not a, a lot of uh models right here but it's, it can still do the work because by passing uh, frp in, in qualcomm devices it's very hard but the other options right here tell you what they have more than uh, 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 hundreds of models you understand okay so while watching you can send me a message using the number on the screen right here in case you want to learn complete mobile repairing because I have an online course in which I teach hardware mobile repairing and software. So the hardware is the big deal right here because I start everything from the basics of troubleshooting any uh, mobile phone problem to the professional level of troubleshooting and solving mobile phone fault i don't just teach on that i teach on how to understand components how to identify components and everything you understand okay so right now i'm going to show you how you can download this tool and you can just download the tool using it's a direct link just check the the download link in this video description then once you download the tool then follow my steps to install the tool Okay, so once you have downloaded the tool from my video description, you will have the file in the download folder right here. All you have to do is to extract the tool. So make sure you follow all my steps on how to, to install this tool so that it will work properly on your PC. So you just got to extract the tool. Um, okay, cool. So have to extract the tool. It doesn't take much time. Then you are going to open the folder right here. Okay. So what you are going to do right here, you are going to right click right here. You are going to right click and then you are going to run as administrator right here. Okay, so the file is is being compressed in 7-zip format. So what you are going to do right here, you are just going to click on here. Then you are going to find the folder in which you want to extract the tool itself in. So I'm just going to leave it there. It selected the, the correct folder, which is the same folder right here already. Just going to click on extract right here. 
you will see that it's extracting right here. The reason why the toll is taking such a long time to extract is because the the toll was highly compressed. So it's it's such a big size that was compressed to a small size. So as you can see, the compressed size right here. Then you are going to open the toll from this setup right here, PM BMB V6. You understand? So what you are going to do right here. You're just going to right click this one right here and run as administrator right here. And then you are going to click on OK, which is yes. Yeah, cool. Okay, so once you have the tool right here, you can start using the tool. Everything is okay. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel in case this video is helpful and if you want to learn complete mobile repairing the hardware and the software starting from the basics send me a message on whatsapp using this number on the screen